Hi, I'm Bo Smith with Cornerstone Home Lending. I'm a native of Mississippi and I lend in Mississippi. And I want to tell you that I sell the problem I solve, not the product I sell. And what I mean by that, have you ever been in a situation where you fell in love with a house only to get the home inspection and realize you got problems? Well, in today's hot market, you better close. And we're going to talk about holdback escrows and how you can close on a home and make those repairs after closing. So you want to know about holdback escrows. Holdback escrows is basically when agencies such as FHA, VA, USDA, and the Veterans Administration allows for amendments to the uh, loan to be post-closed and repaired after you close on a loan. And what I mean by that is if there's repair that needs to be addressed, at the, typically before closing with most lenders, if you can find a lender that will allow you to hold these back into an escrow account, and I'm not saying an escrow account with the attorney's office, the escrow account at the lender who's table funding the loan, in this example, Cornerstone Home Lending, that means the loan can close and the repair that was addressed, be it through the home inspection and definitely called in the appraisal, can be either potentially financed or the buyer in this particular example can pay for those funds and it's held into an escrow account. Believe it or not, there is no money limitation on this because some lender says, yes, we'll do a holdback escrow, but we limit to $5,000. There's no limit. Holdback escrows, if the seller has, or the buyer, this particular example, has the funds to put back into an escrow account with the lender, in this example, Cornerstone, whether it be $10,000 or $20,000, the repair can be done post-closing. So the next time you're out there shopping, make sure you talk to your lenders about what problems they can solve before they occur.